Hi Capricorn viewers. Um, so a couple weeks ago I was getting that maybe some of you gave your secret admirer an opening. Like, because they feel a little bit more confident lately than they felt before. I'm going to see what the cards say. But for those of you that have been following, it's, you know, for a few months now at least, I've been channeling the story of this person that wants to connect with you. They want to be close to you. And this could be someone that you see at the store. This could be someone that you maybe goes, works at a cafe that you go to. Uh, could be a neighbor. Just someone that's, or could be a coworker as well. Just someone that's been trying to catch your attention, but maybe like you're in a certain mindset when you see them, like you're on your way to work or you're at work. So there, it's not the right environment for love. So you haven't been noticing them, but I feel like you gave them some kind of opening recently, or maybe they're just at that point where they're just tired of not knowing how you feel. So they're just getting to that point where they're being more assertive and they're trying to put themselves out there more because you haven't been picking up on their hints in the past. But yeah, I feel like they're finally more confident. They're not as insecure and scared now. So it, I feel like a lot of you might have given them an opening. But um, let's let's get a couple messages from... I've been doing bibliomancy with this book that I just bought. So let's get a couple messages from there and then I'm going to read the cards. Okay, what's the first message for Capricorns? Something about this deja vu tells me that I have lived this life before, that I will always find my way back to you. So it seems like they've experienced soul recognition with you, and that could be part of this, that something about you just feels like home to them. Something about you just feels so familiar and so right to them, and they can't quite put their finger on it. Am I thankful for this gift of second sight? Of course. But there are just some things that this telepathy cannot replace, like the way you would transfer your thoughts from your fingertips onto my thighs. Or what about the mornings that I would awaken to your lips lightly pressed in between the blades of my shoulders? This love is greater than I have ever known to love one another from within. But some nights I simply miss the magic of your touch and the beauty that is your skin. I feel like some of them are daydreaming about you a lot. They're really fantasizing about you. They're they're thinking about what it would be like to be with you. There's a lot of sexual fantasies as well, too, is what I'm getting here. So um, I'm curious to hear from you guys, too. Have you... Have they reached out? Did you give them that opening? Have they reached out to you? Like, what's going on with that? And for those that are new to my channel, you know, if this is someone you might know, just be observant, be mindful, because that was the energy I was getting a while ago is that maybe some of you are like oblivious to it because maybe like if they work at a cafe, for example, and you're on your way to work, you know, you're just you're not thinking about love. You're thinking about getting your coffee and going to work. You're not you know what I mean? Like that's where your head's at. And, and this person might not want to hit on you because they might either work somewhere when you see them. So they don't want to get fired or get in trouble if you say no, and they don't want to overstep their boundaries. Or this could be a coworker who also, you know, doesn't want to get in trouble. They don't want to be accused of harassment or anything if they if they come on to you. So it's kind of like this person's just been testing the waters for a long time, but I feel like they've gotten impatient, like they want clarity with this. But let's see what's going on now. So yeah, just be mindful if you're going out. Be mindful of, of your surroundings, of, you know, someone that you may have overlooked. Because, it, you know, just, just try to keep yourself open to love. Make your move, green light, hidden truth. Yeah, it feels like someone's either going, yeah, someone either wants to confess their feelings or they're going to finally. <clears throat> oh, sorry. My allergies are driving me crazy today. Um, so we got Make Your Move, Green Light, Hidden Truth, New Love, Faded Encounter. We've got Pride and Stubbornness. We've got Confusion and Uncertainty, Nostalgia, Longing. Publicity, social media, spying, spying on social media, listening, understanding, new perspective, and overthinking. Okay. Okay, I think, I honestly think that your person is really insecure because I think that. 
I think that some of you are, sorry, I'm trying to straighten this out for you guys. So I'm looking at these cards and I'm looking at the story here and I feel like some of you have given your person the opening, but like they almost don't know if it's real. Like they think that you're, they think that you're very beautiful. I'm getting for a lot of you or they think that you're too good for them or they feel like, like maybe it's a joke or like maybe you wouldn't want them. I don't know why they're so insecure. It's really weird. I feel like someone must have messed them up pretty bad along the way because it feels like I mean, it feels like trauma to me. It almost feels like, a, like, I don't know that they have PTSD necessarily. Like, I can't diagnose that. But it almost feels like similar energy. Like, someone really put them down. Like, to, like, to a traumatic point. Like, they, they put them down to a traumatic point. To where it's hard for them to know if someone's being genuine. Like, someone really manipulated them and hurt them in the past. And it's made it hard for them to put themselves out there. Because I'm just getting the sense that there's, like... Either you two have different communication styles. Like, I just get the sense of miscommunication. Like, you guys either have different communication styles or it's also possible that they're just so insecure that it's like you're giving them the opening, but it's like they're not... Maybe maybe they're just... They're not getting it. I don't know what it is. It's so weird. It's like, what's wrong with this person? What is their... What is their damage like what's what's going on here with your person um uh cuz it's like there's make your move green light hidden truth so it's like taking the mask off or revealing this hidden truth new love fading encounter you know like revealing this truth is the truth is that they want this new love with you that this is destiny that they want this start with you <sighs> And that they want to take you on a date. They want to get to know you. They want to be close to you. Unless, I don't think this is an ex coming back around. It feels more like a new person. It feels like someone that's been admiring you for a while. Unless it's an ex that's been doing that. But no, I get that. Cool. No, because I don't think they would be quite as nervous if they were an ex. Like this it seems like someone who's like genuinely like... Like, they get nervous and shy when you're around. I don't know if they show it or not. They might blush. There might be, like, little cues. If you really start being observant of their body language, I think you're going to pick up on little things. Like, if you guys talk or whatever, you're going to notice things, like, in their speech, like, uh, like stuttering or blushing or uh, playing with their hair, like, little signs, like, subconscious signs of flirting, like, that kind of thing. But it's like, what happened? Because it's like they were revealing, revealing this truth, but then there's, like, pride and stubbornness. You see these two people? It's like... They're not, it's like he's looking that way, she's looking that way. It's like they're right next to each other, but they're like not getting it. Like someone's just not getting it. Like you guys aren't seeing each other. Like you're not, like it's not clicking for someone. I don't know what's going on there. It's like, do you have to grab this freaking person and just kiss them? Like maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want, full disclaimer though, I do not take responsibility if you guys do that, that's on you. I'm not taking responsibility if that doesn't go well. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what this person needs. It's like, I feel like their insecurities just get in the way. Like, they're, they might have had someone that's just really dragged them down. I feel like they kind of feel like you're out of their league, which is an issue. It's like, they feel like, like, they can't tell. Like, some of them are thinking, like, oh, maybe they're just really nice and friendly, like, Maybe they're like that with everyone. Maybe they're just naturally flirty. Like, I don't think they get it. It's it's really frustrating. Um, and if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth and look into what this person's feeling, thinking, wanting, um, I can look into exes as well. Whatever you want to know, you know, career, whatever, anything, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. And my donation links are also below this video, and any donations are appreciated. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Um, so, so yeah, it's like a, it's like a little road bump. Whatever this energy is here, the pride, stubbornness, like not like miscommunication. There's like a little road bump that's caused someone confusion. Or it could be their own fear took over. Like maybe you made a move, and maybe they are kind of like, oh, this is too good to be true. Like, I bet they're just flirting. And then they caused you the confusion. Or vice versa. Like, they made a move. And, like, they might have made another move and felt like it wasn't 
like I don't know, it just it's such a weird energy. This this these two cards, but someone's confused basically, basically to sum it up, someone's someone's confused, someone's uncertain, and so now they're kind of like feeling nostalgic, like they're wanting this connection, they're longing for it, they're daydreaming about it, and a lot of them are stalking, like social media stalking you. Some of them are doing it and you don't know it. Like some of them like got your name or something and they're look they looked you up on social media. Um, or like through like your phone number or something of that sort. And they're just kind of like checking you out, seeing what you're about. And like, you don't even know that you're on that, that they're on your social media. But it's like, it's such a weird energy. Cause it's like, why they need to stop being a pussy. Honestly, this person needs to stop being such a pussy. Okay. They're so, they're like in the doorway. Like they're so close to this new start with you, like this new love. And then like it's, but their fear keeps getting in the way. Like their uncertainty. They're like, oh, what if it, what if they, what if like, they don't want to be, they want to be certain of this. They're like, what if I misread that? Like, or it's like you ask them out or something. You're like, hey, you want to go get coffee? And like, at first they're excited and they're like, oh, I bet they mean it's a date. And then they're like, oh, maybe what if, what if they just mean as friends or what if they just mean um, you know, they want to talk about work stuff or they want, you know what I mean? Like this person's just so freaking stupid. Like why are they so freaking insecure? Uh, -huh. anyway, they're like, they're, they're just in the center. Like they're right. They're like on that cliff where they, it's like they're at this crossroads where they could go either way. Like they could get out of their head. This person honestly might be a little bit autistic, and I, I love, like, love to autistic people. I'm, I'm not, hate. I'm not, I hope that's not taken offensively. I do not mean that in an offensive way. I just, I'm just saying that maybe there's a reason behind their communication issues. Maybe it's not for all of them, but for some of them, there might be some deeper meaning behind their, the reason that they're so oblivious to communication, why they're, why it's so difficult for them to just, you know, ask you out and just read you. And you know what I mean? So I feel like for the longest time you weren't aware of this person's like intentions like they were trying to flirt and like you just you didn't even know it like you didn't you kind of ignored it or you just didn't think anything of it but I think like these videos have made some of you aware of who this is and you're like oh crap that that sound that that makes sense like you're getting it now but um, anyway this person's just like they're they're at this crossroads they can choose this new perspective they can choose to step back and try to work on these communication issues, try to listen, try to understand and not let their insecurities get the best of them. You know, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. And this is that per this is your person's struggle. You know, it's like, do they and, and you know, take it how it resonates, because this could be yours. I, I could be channeling. I could be so for some of you. It could be the other way around where you're the one that might be going through this lesson, you know, but for a lot of you, it's your person and it's like, you know, they have a choice. Like they can have this new perspective. They can take this leap of faith for love. They can learn to communicate better. They can, you know, let go of these insecurities. They're really being tested right now. It's kind of like, are they going to step out of their comfort zone or not? But a lot of them, or, you know, the second option is they just keep overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging like getting in their head, letting the insecurities get the best of them. I know it's probably frustrating for you guys, especially like the ones that have been following me for months because you're like, dude, I just gave them an opening. What the hell? But it's like, this person is so like, they don't get it. It's like, I don't know what their damage is. Like what the hell? <laughs> It's like they just don't, like they doubt it now. It's so weird because they wanted this for so long and it's like they were trying to get your attention for so long and get you to notice them and draw you in and like get you to notice the connection. And now that you're opening up more to it, it's like they're not, almost feel like they're like shocked by it. It's like they wanted to be close to you, but it's almost like they feel unworthy or they feel like you're above them. So they're kind of like nervous now and that nervousness is creating issues here. I mean, I feel like in this connection, it's almost like you're going to have to be the more assertive one because I feel like you're more mature and I feel like you have better communication skills than your person does. 
But do you want that? I think you have to question, like, do you want someone that's this shy? Because this could be too shy. Even though they have a sweet boy or girl next door type energy, like this person could just be too shy and insecure. So, I mean, the choice is yours. Um, but I'm getting that you're going to have to be assertive with this person if this is your story. And like I said, full disclaimer, I do not take responsibility for anything that you do or do not do. Um, yeah, just, I'm, that's, that's all on you. Your choices are your own. Willpower, strength, confidence. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Yeah, you know, it's like someone has to break through these walls and be the dominant one and get past these these past these walls. You know, use their willpower, their strength, their confidence to take control and make this love offer. I feel like someone's cold and guarded and like or they seem cold and guarded, but it's just like they're they suck at communication. So they seem cold and guarded and distant when they're not. And that's either you or them. But someone seems like they're in this energy, but they're actually not. That's just it's just because they suck at communication and they're not very mindful of their body language. They're actually just really shy. So this person could seem cocky. Like they could seem like, because they might be kind of quiet and they might seem like they're kind of full of themselves. You might be like, dude, why does this person, like if it's like a coworker, you might be like, why the hell do they never talk to anyone? Like why are they... Like, they never want to hang out. They're always to themselves. It's like, well, this person might not be cocky. This person might just have major social anxiety and shyness and be afraid of rejection. Like maybe they just do not know how to put themselves out there. Yeah, there's some mental instability, too, for some of these people. Due to someone manipulating them and deceiving them and hurting them. And that truth is going to come out here. Yeah, pause, reflection, rest, finances, career. Yeah, it could be a coworker for some of you. It's like they keep choosing their approach, like wanting to talk to you, but then it's like they get so scared. So I know we've been in this energy for a while and I don't want to like frustrate you guys because I know, you know the story has been continuing, but keep in mind, I just channel the energy. So I don't ask the cards any particular questions. I just, I just pull the cards and I just, you know, whatever comes out is what comes out. Like, I don't ask specific questions. I just, you know, put the intention in of channeling your person and channeling youth, you know, especially channeling them through you. So, you know, sometimes the energy is very similar, but it's like, it's just like this stubbornness. It's like this fear, this insecurity that they have. And you guys have to get off this merry-go-round. Some of you might want to just, you know, like, you just need to get things moving one direction or another, I feel. And also ask yourself, do you want someone that's this shy? That's a, that's a really important question. Like, do you want to deal with this? Because some of you might not want to. Um, like I said, they're really sweet, but it's like you might need someone that's a little bit more assertive than this. Um, although, I mean, they could be... They could be different when they open up to someone. This could be someone that's just very guarded, very distrusting, like very... Um, like they seem cocky and they seem detached, but it's really just because they're, they have such bad social anxiety. So sit down, think about if that's something that you want to deal with, if that's something that you can deal with. Um, you know, try to think about like, think like tune into your own intuition too. like meditate on it. Like, do you feel like there's more to this person? Like, is it worth getting through the social anxiety? Do you feel like they have a, you know, a bigger personality underneath all that? Like, is it, is it worth getting them out of their shell because this is someone who's like very sensitive so you want to be careful with their emotions you don't want to mess with them like you want to be kind of sure about them if you go for this because it's like you're really going to be pulling them out of their shell and they're going to get really attached to you like this person might be even kind of clingy with you at a certain point so um you know you really need to make sure this is what you want just so that they don't get more heartbroken this could be like a nerdy type of person too, like very like sweet and nerdy. It's a it's a good energy. They just need to be more assertive and more confident. But um, yeah, let me know. You know, let me know where you guys are at in the storyline. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Uh, and like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Uh, donations are appreciated, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.